Hey guys, my name is Darkwater Killer, and today I will be doing a quick video in response to a comment made by YouTube user Dav Pidv. Uh, sorry for butchering your name. Um, Dav asked if I could make it so you can only get logs when you chop them down with an axe. And so without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, here I just have a blank data pack open in Visual Studio Code. Uh, as you can see on the left, the file structure I will be using for this data pack is all right here. Um, if you still don't see it, it's going to be highlighted by the flashy green box right around now. The first file we're going to make is in the tags folder. And so in tags items, new file, and we're going to be calling this axes.json. And so for this file, you are just going to open your root tag, make a tag called replace, and set that to false. And then after that one, you're going to make another tag called values, and this is just going to be a list. And in this list, we're just going to populate it with values of all the different axe names, so Minecraft wooden axe, the stone axe, iron axe, the gold axe, and finally a diamond diamond axe and I forgot a comma here so that's it for this file we're done with this tags file so I'm just gonna go ahead and close that next we need to make a loot table for each log type I'm just going to show you guys typing out the loot table for oak logs and I'll be doing the rest of them off camera for the sake of time. So to start off with what you want to do is in your block loot tables make a file and like I just said in this case it will be oak log.json. In the json you'll just open your root tag and add a tag called type and we're going to set this to Minecraft block and then we're going to make a list called pools and in this list we're going to create a new pool and we'll make it just a single roll and add a list of entries and in this list of entries, we're going to add just uh, just one element. It's going to have a type of Minecraft item, a name of Minecraft oak log. And after our list of entries, we're going to add a list of conditions and in this list we're just going to have a single condition of minecraft match tool and match tool is going to have a predicate tag right after it and in this predicate tag we're just going to have tag minecraft axes and that should be it for this loot table now before i finish up the pack off camera i just want to go through and explain what exactly it is that i did so the first file i made axes.json is just a tag in the data pack and all that means is that i'm able to say to the code 
when I give you this name, I'm talking about everything that I wrote in this list. And we use this in our loot table, so we don't have to make a condition for each of the different axes. And the loot table is made as normal for most block drops in the game. In fact, I just used the built-in table for oak logs and modified it to have an additional uh, condition. And the condition match tool is just checking to see if the tool that we use to break the log matches any of the names that we listed in the axes.json tag that we made earlier. So that's what this Minecraft axes is. It's just a reference to this JSON file. So when it is checking to see if this condition is true, it sees what tool we use to break the log. And if the tool we used matches any of these names, it's going to say, okay, go ahead and drop this log. I'm just going to finish the rest of these tables off camera and we'll go ahead and load the data pack into the game and show you guys the final product. So I will be right back. Here we are in a new world where I loaded the data pack and just gave myself each of the different axes, as well as I have placed down each of the different log blocks. So just to show you, as you can see, if I break a log with my fist, it doesn't drop. But when I use any of the axes to break a log, it does. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you sped up video of uh, me going ahead and breaking all of these just to prove a point. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you want to download this data pack for yourself to use or modify, please feel free to do so. There will be a link to my website in the description as well as a URL on screen. Um, if you want more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. My upload schedule is pretty inconsistent. So if you want to interact with me more and see what I'm up to, uh, consider joining the channel's Discord server um, as well. Uh, the link will be in the description and on screen as well. Uh, anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, my name is Darkwater Killer, and I hope you have an amazing day.